rains have returned. The monsoons have picked up pace over the last couple of weeks. They are now just 13% below the normal average compared to 23% earlier. But the situation is still bad across a large section of western India. Saurashtra and Kutch are the worst affected with an 81% shortfall. Punjab, with all its farms, has had monsoons 57% below normal. And even Kerala's rains are 33% under the average. What's more, the monsoons are all set to withdraw next month and no big revival is expected. I think uh, withdrawal will be in time. But the deficiency which we have seen decreasing gradually over these areas will continue to be deficient. These areas like Saurashtra and Kutch, Gujarat, West Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana, these areas will be below normal. And the rainfall will be picking up over Bihar, Jharkhand, Orissa, uh, Telangana, these areas. Uh, much uh, more rainfall will be there, but the deficit will continue over northwest India. The drought-like situation has taken its toll on agriculture. In many parts of India, farmers have been unable to sow crops. Even more strangely, many are growing water-guzzling crops like rice or sugarcane instead of coarse cereals. But while the monsoons are widely expected to stoke food inflation, there could be relief from one source, fruits and vegetables. In fruit and vegetable, there was marginal shortage uh, about uh, 15 days back. Now the fruit and vegetables are coming in ample and uh, due to this late rain, and it's raining all over India and most other parts of India, the fruit and vegetable shortage will not be there and uh, the prices will also be somewhat down. India is still grappling with the impact the poor monsoons are going to have on its economy. But the contours of those challenges are increasingly becoming as clear as the skies above. Aditya Ramanathan, Delhi, Mint.